Hey, welcome back from the break. It's a new day, a brand new day, a brand new week. And it's time for Mission. Mission is supported by Star Ghana, with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the European Union. A vital cog in the machinery of Ghana's decentralization policy is the salience, inclusive decision-making at the local level of governance. Central to this, however, is the conduct of district assembly elections, which provides a uh, platform to elect members tasked with the responsibility of deepening a bottom-up approach to the authoritative allocation of resources. Although constituting at least 51% of Ghana's population, women continue to be hamstrung in their quest to participate actively at all levels of governance, notwithstanding efforts aimed at stemming the tide of uh, underrepresentation, women continue to grapple with structural and societal barriers that serve to perpetuate a patriarchal uh, society. Um, this morning in our studios, I'll be speaking to two um, Aspiring uh, assembly women uh, who have, you know, um, come out of uh, come out in confidence to stand to be elected. I'll be speaking to um, Patience Abla Nubemado, who's an aspiring assembly woman for Okaiman East Electoral Area, uh, as well as Nafisa Murususu, aspiring assembly woman for um, Mabruk electoral area good morning ladies you're welcome to new day thank, thank you how are you doing you're fine you're and fine you? i'm very well thank you uh, patience you okay yes yeah. okay awesome oh pardon me nafisa rather yeah <laughs> awesome i'll start with um nafisa uh, looking at this uh, why why do you have the desire why did you have the desire to even stand for elections in the district assembly in the first place um, I would say that I'm um, somebody who loves to serve people. Mm. So I looked at my community and what is going on there, and I'm not happy. Okay. So I feel that I have to come out to help with the community. Okay. What, what boosted your, your confidence to actually come out and, 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 you know, say you want to support your community? Because there are many women out there who would say that they have, the, you know, their families to take care of or they have their jobs or whatever, um, you know, responsibilities they have. is so much they're juggling already. So why would you want to take that extra step? What gave you that confidence? I don't know, but I think that it is the willingness to serve. Mm. So you, you have the passion to be with the people, yeah. to help the people. So that is what I can say, okay. that it is a willingness to serve, to the, serve people. the people. That has given me the courage to be able to come out to say that I want to stand in for my community. Lovely. Patience, would you say the same thing? What gives you that confidence? Why would you want to stand? Yes, I realize that most of the mantle is being taken by men. Mm. And I see that, no, I can also do what the men are doing. Yeah. Um, seeing that most of the women in the society or my area they are unemployed, okay. I feel I can help. Okay. That is how come I decided to enter into this. Into part. it. What, what kind of um, um, problems or issues are they facing that you think that you can help? What kind of change do you want to effect when you come into power? The change I want to effect, it's mm. not really going to be a change, but if you are seeing our government is speaking about entrepreneurship yeah and i believe in entrepreneurship okay. if you are self-employed then it tells that you are financially sound okay so this is the reason why and that is what i want to change, change. in my look are you an entrepreneur yourself yes please oh what 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 do you do i'm a cosmetologist by profession oh okay yes. so do you run your own um parlor your own business yes i have my own school called okay. the gallery school of cosmetology oh okay wow yes. that's amazing and uh for you nafisa as well um are you also into entrepreneurship or what do you do for a living um i'm a trader i sell car parts oh wow yeah that's very different. You don't find that many women selling car parts. That's why I'm out to serve the community. Mm. Because sometimes you, people think that where men are, women cannot penetrate That's them. True. And we want to prove them wrong. Mm. And for me, my community, the main problem there is sanitation. Okay. When you go, the place is filled with filth. Yeah. The gutters are very choked. Yeah. So the, that is the main problem there. And that is why I'm coming out mm. to see that we'll get rid of all the filth in the community yeah. so that those little sicknesses that mm. affect the people in the community yeah. will come to an end. Okay. So um, how do you plan to 
to, to execute that? Uh, are you working with people? Have you started speaking to others? How would you plan to you know, alleviate this uh, issue in your area? The first thing I did was to go to the municipal. Okay. Because you know that every first Saturday of the month is for cleanup. Yeah. So when I went, I was advised that since it's a general cleanup, it wouldn't be nice for me to organize mine the same day. Mm. So I should find another day. So I decided that every third Saturday of the month, I will organize cleanup. Okay. And then the refuse will be collected for free. Okay. For now, when you collect the, when they come for the refuse, you will pay. Mm. So I have promised my people that I will make sure that every third Saturday of the month, yeah. the refuse will be collected and the gutters will be clean. So it will be like, two times in every month. Okay. And you would handle the cost of that? Yes. Um, for the cost, the municipal, mm -hmm. mostly when we want to organize cleanup, they give us the, uh, the compactors. The Zoom Lion gives us the compactors. From the municipal, we get the bin, yeah. and they are mostly for free. Yeah. It's always for free. Okay. But it's just that the people that will help you with the cleanup, you have to see to them, yeah. and I'm ready to do, that to do that for the community. That's great. Um, Patience, how's the support been like from the people, uh, from the point of, you know, saying that you wanted to, um, you know, stand for um, this position to be an assemblywoman up to the point, you know, up to today, how has the support been like from your people? The support has been great mm. because uh, I was even surprised that bringing out this idea, people just healed it. Wow. I was like, wow. It tells that they see what you are doing. Yeah. Yes. So anytime I need any support and I call them or go to them, they mm. are ready and willing to help. To help them. Let's delve a little deeper into your entrepreneurship plan. How exactly do you um, plan to, you know, uh, attack this? Are you um, looking at just women or are you looking at um, both men and women, boys and girls? How are you looking at um, so, helping um, them out? To a large cost, you see that everybody feeds. Yeah. So it's from the youngest and both men and women. Okay willing to learn yeah. because if you want to impart knowledge and the people that you want to help are not willing yeah. then you can't force them That's true. so everybody every human willing to help, help. Yeah. or to learn yeah. i'm ready to assist That's amazing. and it's not going to be only my field okay anything that they are interested in mm. that i have the strength to support okay. i will Oh, great. So you're looking at not just cosmetology, you are opening up to other professionals to also help yes, um, yes. in your, your society. I see. And uh, how has the support been like from your family as well? Um, I, I don't know if you're married, you have children and, you know, with your regular job as well, because those two alone, I know, are, you know, heavy. They are weighted. Yeah. Exactly. So how do you blend all of this? How do you plan to balance it out? When I first brought this idea up, my husband just bought it. I was like, wow. Oh, nice. Um, he's always like, I wanted to enter into this and you are stopping me. <laughs> now that you want to go, I'll yeah. push you to the last. Oh, nice. So with my family, I don't have any problems at all. Okay. In my church, my, my pastor too is in support. Okay. Yes. So you have the support from the church as well? Yes, please. And how about Nafisa? How is the support like on your end? Um, I think it has been great. For me, it is the people from the community mm. that came to approach me to tell me that they feel from the way I help them, I could go to the assembly and help the community as a whole. Mm. So the support from my family, mm -hmm. from friends, from yeah. the church is great. Yeah. So I, I, I'm happy <laughs> that all the support is coming from everywhere. Yeah. So um, lastly, before we go, what do you plan to do differently? Why should we, you know, support you? Why should we continue to push you? Nafisa, I'll, I'll start with you. For me, so far in my Brook Electra area, yeah. we have had only one woman who came out. Yeah. She's no more. She was, she used to be called Amabola. Okay. And she used to do free bola. Oh, okay. So you, they collect the refuse for, yeah, for free. free. And how and long ago was this? About... Eight to ten years ago. Oh, okay, that's a long so time. So after her came a man, mm. and since then we have seen nothing. Okay. So we realized that the man has failed us. Mm. So I had to come in. I want to continue what Amabola started. Yeah. We are doing the free bola. We want to help the women in the community yeah. 
because most of the women they like to work mm. but they don't have the finances okay. so i have gotten some company to support them okay. in their business by giving them loans okay then the youth too we are helping them to go into business as okay. she's also doing okay. we are trying to help them then when you look at mabruk and shukura mm -hmm. the youth are mostly into sports okay and getting sponsorship yeah. is a problem to them so i have promised them that with sports i will get people mm. to come and help me so that we we sponsor them for then what kind of sports though the football okay football okay. football so we we'll support them some of them maybe they get they don't have jerseys they don't have football boots yeah. so we have planned to help them oh, nice. and i would ask the people in my community to look at what i have done so far i have helped them and i have promised that when i come i'll continue to help them so they should look at what i have done oh nice All to right. vote for me to so vote for you number to five uh -huh. on the ballot paper <laughs> But I prefer them to look for the woman on the ballot paper. Okay, because you're the only woman yes. on that ballot paper. You're the only one uh, standing for assembly woman in that area. Yes, please. Okay, I see. And and uh, with you, Patience, as well, the final words, why should we continue to push you? They should continue to push me because standing back mm -hmm. in the home, yeah. the woman can see every loophole. Mm. And the loopholes that I'm seeing in my area, one is drainage system. Yeah. In fact, when it rains and you come to my area, some people cannot even enter their homes. It is on my heart yeah. that I will bring sanit sanitation, proper sanitation, yeah. because it is the littering that is choking the gutters. Mm. If I help and they, if I encourage them to stop littering, yeah. it tells that that drainage thing will not happen. Mm. Yes. And then secondly, I want to bring smile oh. into the homes because um it's my plan that one home one uh, scale okay. whether you are government worker or what or you not. should also have a skill yeah. for instance if you are supposed to go and buy parazone outside yeah. and you know how to do parazone mm. then you wouldn't go buy right. but you will do it yourself, yourself and then it tells that we are going to domesticate inner <laughs> constituency <laughs> domestication that's a very interesting one and why should other women also be you know empowered to because you you've come out of your shelves your shelves pardon me to do this and there are still other women who know that they want to be able to do this but they are not doing anything about it for many years uh, you know the ec has been pushing for more women there have been local um, supports as well trying to push more women into this but um, you have come out what what words do you have to also say to those women out there who know that they can also make a change they believe in themselves but the final step to come out and say, I want to stand to be an assembly woman to change my community. What's the final word you have for them as well? I think largely it depends on the support. Okay. For instance, In if you are, yes, for instance, if you are married mm. and your husband has not granted or given you that veto to go, mm. you can't go. You but why always, do you need a veto from your husband? You are married. And maybe if something happened and you have been called at dawn mm. to come, and your husband also needs you at that time. How do you go? Mm. But if they give you that support, yeah. and you have the support from the community, as we have, mm. then it tells that you have all the way. Mm. But if you don't, I don't think you'll be empowered to. Okay, so should, they should make their case. Nafisa, you're smiling at me. <laughs> I'll borrow the words of my boss. Okay. That you should have conviction. Mm that you want to do something mm -hmm. because if you don't have it then mm -hmm. you cannot do it even if you have the support of the whole world you cannot do, you it. do it then you should be convincing you should convince yourself yeah. that i can do it without anybody at all okay i can do it because god is always there for us mm -hmm. and the last word is change yeah you have to change yeah. because if you continue to live your life before mm -hmm then you cannot do anything. You have to change. You have to adjust to things. Yeah. But the last one I have is to have uh, the spirit of God. Okay. You should be prayerful. Yeah. As a woman, you should be prayerful. Mm. Because if you are not prayerful, you wouldn't get your people to support you. Mm. They can support you to the end, but you will lose. Okay. So in everything, we need God. 
Okay, that's a good one. And everything yeah. you need, God. And they should also stand up for themselves. Whatever they believe in, yeah. they should go for it. Thank you yeah. so much for the words of encouragement as well. And uh, we'll continue to support and to push you. Seeing as uh, you are very passionate as well. I've been speaking to um, Patience Abla Nubemado, aspiring assemblywoman for Okaiman East Electoral Area, as well as Nafisa Moro Susu, aspiring assemblywoman for uh, Mabro, pardon me, Mabrook. Mabrook Electoral Area. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much for joining us uh, here on New Day. We have GH Startup uh, following, and so uh, stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.